So welcome, ladies, gentlemen, smart contractors of all ages. I guess you can roll the video. Um, Agoric was founded in 2018 by pioneers in the space of smart contracts with literally decades of experience bringing disruptive technologies to market. And we were founded to enable developers worldwide to rapidly build, deploy, and start operating decentralized applications and businesses uh, in, you know, in blockchain, crypto across the world. And to that end, we are deploying a new layer one proof of stake smart contracting platform using Cosmos SDK as the underpinnings and building up from there to enable developers to implement in hardened JavaScript, the world's most popular programming language, new applications from NFTs to DeFi's in a pluggable environment that I'll talk about a bit later. But I'm going to start by taking you on a tour through a user's journey of what this might be like. So they're coming in. They've got assets on other platforms. They want to be able to get some of the local stable currency, the grease that makes commerce work. So we have on the right a wallet, on the left an application, where the wallet has assets in several different currencies. One of those that I have is Atoms. And so I've approved the use of this core treasury application with my wallet. I'm now going to go and get Atoms, but I have them on a different chain. So one of the things that has been built, that we, that we built together with other people in the Cosmos ecosystem, is called IBC, Interblockchain Communication Protocol. So here I'm using Kepler, the wallet in the Cosmos ecosystem, to be able to take assets from the Cosmos hub chain. Now, of course, this is a lot of assets, but it's only on a test chain, so it only does me so much good. But I'm going to take 500 atoms from that Cosmos hub chain and send them using this inter-blockchain communication protocol from one blockchain, the hub, to the Agoric blockchain. I'm going to send them, and that transfer is just one of the many application protocols built on IBC, but it's an important one, especially for here. So I'm taking these atoms, I'm going to send them across, and you can see on the right-hand side I have zero atoms in my account, and when this processes, it sends messages from one blockchain to another, giving me 500 atoms, so now, now I have some interesting collateral to use to take local currency out, to borrow a local stable currency in order to be able to transact in this environment. So I'm going to go ahead and put it into demo run. You can see on the right-hand side, I have zero demo in my, zero run in my account. Run is the name of the stable local currency in the Agoric crypto ecosystem, crypto economy. So I'm going to borrow 1,000 run. To do that, I need to lock up 43 atoms, which you can see here I'm in the process of creating a vault. So this is a MakerDAO style vault, but deeply integrated into the overall Agoric ecosystem. So Run is used to pay for gas, it's used to pay for network services, as well as being the grease of commerce. Now, if you're familiar with Ethereum, you know that the user's experience is to send money to address. From, from a normal user's point of view, that looks like a random number, and you send money to a random number and hope something good happens. Here we have a fundamental model called offers, which is what businesses use. There's quid pro quo. I will give the smart smart contract 43 atoms if and only if it gives me back a thousand run. It also needs to give me control of the contract and so forth, but this offer will not work, it will fail unless I actually get a thousand run. And the contract itself does not get those 43 atoms. It's told about them, but they're escrowed in the underlying infrastructure. There are literally over a billion dollars that have been lost in Ethereum and other blockchains because people sent money to the wrong place, to the wrong random number, right? This provides protection to clients and dramatically reduces the risk not only to users, but to smart contracts that are using other smart contracts as a service, right? So here, I'm going to go ahead and click accept or my ghost is sometime in the future. And, and this offer mechanism is what's used to wire together uh, the user's experience of these contracts. So now the 43 atoms will come out of my atom account, go into escrow in the infrastructure, be offered to the contract, it will construct a vault and deliver to me a thousand run. So the 43 atoms came out, it'll deliver a thousand run into my demo run account. And if there's any bug, if there's any failure, if there's any rug pull, right? There's just nothing the contract can do to take my atoms unless it gives me that thousand run, right? That's what we call offer safety. And now it's delivered the atoms into my account. Let's go spend it. This is a typical AMM, you know, automated market maker. That's the other part of this treasury, and it's one of the native applications where I'm going to take some of that thousand run and I'm going to buy some of the stable coin 
that, or sorry, some of the uh, staking token that underpins this, this, this uh, proof of stake blockchain. So I'm got, uh, I've selected build the Agoric um, stablecoin, or sorry, the Agoric staking token. And, I want, and I'm going to buy 300 run worth of it. That turns out to be about 10.7 build that I'm going to buy, that, that I'm looking to buy. Okay, so I, click, I will go click swap, and that will again make an offer. I will swap 300 run, if you go over to the right hand side, I will swap 300 run for at least, in this case, 10.4 build. Now 10.4 is a smaller number, that makes room for slippage, but it makes sure that if there's a real bug, I'm, you know, unless it can get me at least that much, it does not get my run, okay? And so when I make that offer, it uses all the same infrastructure and all the same components that are available to smart contract developers to build their own applications. And so now, this slow person will go and click. Now this, this um, swap application is, is, is native, it, it, it is extensible with new kinds of curves, and it's part of the overall ecosystem where, for example, the MakerDAO or equivalent, the, 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 the vault, will be able to liquidate against this automated market maker, arbitrage opportunities abound between our chain over IBC to other chains and so forth. I've now made that offer. It pulled out the run from the demo run purse. You can now see it's down at 700, and it's purchased and received uh, 10 build, 10.7 in this case, the expected amount, into our Agoric staking token. Okay, so that's a great economic activity. We'll have liquidity incentives for this sort of thing and for trading, but the real ability is to be able to use these same components for third-party developers to rapidly produce their own applications. So we'll go over to an application built using the same framework, the same components, to do NFTs. Now it's just as easy to make a non-fungible token, an NFT, as it is to make fungible tokens. Here I've got a simple base bar card application that was written in literally a day, including all the smart contracts. I'll show you those later. And here I'm going, and, and, but it's using the same libraries that I would use to build fancier applications, that I could use to build a loan application. I could grab the governance component and add governance to my application without having to copy code. I just get to plug those DeFi Legos together in order to have that behavior. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Ansem Sweeney and Ray McStriff. Now there's a story that you should you know, look up on our site at some point about where all these names and cards came from, from a game a long time ago. But I've made these offers, it's the same offer infrastructure that works the, identically for non-fungible tokens as it does for fungible tokens, as do all of the simple JavaScript components for you know, futures or covered calls or trading or what have you. And here I've got an offer that says I will buy for one run, these are expensive baseball cards, right? That's a whole lot more expensive than a pack of gum, right? Um, I will buy for one run a particular baseball card. And I selected two, so I've got two offers in this case because you know, someone else might buy one of them out from under me. That's okay, I still wanna buy the second one. So I've now said, yep, I want this offer, go ahead and buy it. And that will authorize the payment from my run account. You can see it's decremented from 700 to 699. And that then goes off to the smart contract that's offering these NFTs for sale. It says, oh, okay. It's now pulled it from the storefront over on the left-hand side, and it'll be delivering it into my wallet. You can see that one card arrived there. Okay. Now, this application, this NFT application, the core smart contract of it, is something like 35 lines of JavaScript code that I could ex explain to a beginning programmer after three months of training. Right? This is, it's not that there are 10,000 people in the world ever that can understand this stuff. There are literally 10 million developers that program in JavaScript worldwide, 10 million plus. Right? And so now you can see I've got a purse that has two cards in it, and it just showed you the names of the two cards that I got, those are distinct um, NFTs. And that's really what we mean by composable DeFi, right? I can, it's not that I'm copying code, it's not that I'm slapping it together, it's that I get a library of components that other people build that I can build on using, for example, the world's most popular development environment to go along with the most popular language with, you know, type completion, IntelliSense, uh, unit testing automated running on the right-hand side. If I put in an edit, it does static analysis to show me errors immediately. This is the standard that the world's developers outside of blockchain expect for rapid development, right? And so, so this is now available and they've got 1.3 million components in JavaScript that they can also build from and include to solve different parts of their application. So we recently completed our incentivized testnet. 
a private fundraise, and in the next couple weeks we'll be starting a stage release to mainnet leading to this blockchain with Treasury and the stablecoin uh, launching out into the Cosmos ecosystem later on in Q4. Um, so please join us at Agoric, join us in Discord, and uh, help all of us build the, the, the next round of, of decentralized applications. Thank you very much. Thank you.